Hey, I'm Morgan Evans. I'm here in New York at the iHeart Studios, and we're going to play a little game called Me or Drunk Me. I feel like me and drunk me are very similar people in this way. Sometimes I'm the annoying guy on the plane that will try to start a conversation with you, um, and sometimes I'm the annoying guy in the bar that will try to start a conversation with you, so, hi. Uh, regular me finds random things in my pockets that were left by drunk me. Thank you, drunk me. Novel like text is probably regular me. I feel like drunk me thinks about that much less, so uh, novel like text, hi. That's Drunk Me at karaoke for sure. And uh, last week, on the night the album came out, uh, Drunk Me was doing some karaoke and we were doing a Backstreet Boys song. Both these guys leave notes to themselves, usually through the form of email. I email myself a lot <laughs> when I think of something. The only difference is that you can understand this guy's emails a little bit better. Sometimes these ones are a little cryptic. Oh, I'm the same person drunk or sober, evidently, because I always make plans that I forget about. And then I have to ask someone, do we plan that for that day or was that... Oh, that was last week. Oh, I've only been married 10 months. <laughs> I named the album Things That We Drink To after the song Things That We Drink To, and um, that song is a, a tribute to my late manager, and, and uh, we lost him last year, and, and on the day of his memorial, we were in the studio and we wrote that song as like a celebration of life, you know, and his memory. And um, as the other songs were kind of finding their places on there, I realized that there were all these great moments from my life in the last couple of years. And it's like finding a new home in Nashville and meeting the girl and getting married. And, and you could raise a glass to all these things. And um, I thought that that song title would make a great album title for that reason. It's always hard to pick a favorite song because, I mean, I wrote all these songs from very personal experiences, but Dance With Me is probably the other one on there like that. And um, it was just it was just from a pure moment, you know, it was like seven or eight weeks after Kelsey and I had met. There was something real and honest about it, and I still feel that way when I hear it. And uh, obviously now with uh, Kelsey singing on it too, it's even more special.